to the uh, fourth of the Not Like Sun podcast with uh, myself, obviously, and uh, my father. Yeah. Yeah, as ever. <laughs> yeah. Good, joyful. And uh, obviously, we've got a returning guest this week, uh, Stuart. I've not been home. Who's, yeah, who <laughs> stayed here all week. Back for popular demand. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, so, Thank yeah. you for having me. That's all right. Um, Didn't realise we had. <laughs> yet. <laughs> so. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to jump straight into a brand new topic this week. It's a brand new segment. I'm sure you look excited mm, about it. Yeah. Uh, we're calling this the uh, the viewers' corner, where uh, viewers can uh, viewers or viewer. Yeah. <laughs> well, we hope it's more than one. <laughs> hope it's not a voyeur. <laughs> yeah, voyeur, voyeur to the bottom of the sea. Yes, but starring Richard Basehart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's the viewers' corner uh, where you can uh, actually write in yourself and uh, either suggest some topics that you want us to talk about, or uh, obviously you can uh, write in with your own stories. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this week we have uh, a friend of yours that's written in for our first. Uh, okay, now that's yeah. two friends I've got. Then. I know you've got two friends now. Not bad, that. Uh, yeah, Paul Windle. Yeah, uh, right. Paul Windle is a mate of mine. Yeah, he says, uh, talk about floating down the River Devon in a dinghy. Yeah. I'm sure that that's a, a bit of a strange incident. It wasn't strange, it was just a normal, leisurely Sunday afternoon yeah. e- escapade episode. Had you been watching Deliverance the night before? Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds a bit like... Trying to recreate the canoe scene. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not the pig scene. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it was just... We'd... Um, how did you, well, for a start, how did, on earth did you even get a dinghy? Did you have one, or did you go and hire one? Oh, it was my own dinghy. Oh, right. Was this like some massive crustacean yeah, or like? it was just a two, no, was it a two-man dinghy? Could have been, no, four-man dinghy. Right. So we inflated... Come on, it's your dad and wind or something. It's too bad, is it? Too bad. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we inflated it at home, as far as I can remember, right. then walked through the street into Valley Prospect mm-hmm. with this dinghy above our heads upside down. Right. Got down to the river and we thought, hmm, time for a smoke. Right. So, as you do. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously this was back in, what, 70s? Oh, Christ, yeah. So, right, so obviously I back in more the day, yeah. yeah. So we just quietly sat back and had a cigarette. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and... We just sort of started giggling. Yeah. And then we had two other friends with us, if I remember rightly, Paul Stewart, who's no longer with us, mm. and his then girlfriend, who was then to become his missus. And we just got on in the dinghy, went in off down the, the Devon light. It was brilliant fun, floating away, literally. Mm. And then we pulled in at the bank somewhere, not the... Nat West or like that. Yeah, I was going to say, just like pull off here in the dinghy. <laughs> Get some money out. Yeah. 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 It just float past the cash point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we just pulled in at the bank side and there were these two kids there. Uh, they just said so much. Anyway, Stuart got this oar. Mm. Oh, there we are. Yes. And he whacked this kid <laughs> on the back of the head with it. <laughs> hilarious. I mean, right. I just fell about laughing because it was just comical right so um, obviously what we went this, down the river in yeah we, we didn't take these two old boys <laughs> but we got so far down and we realized that there was a weir so we thought ah we better not get too near that right. well we'd have gone over it right. yeah the water does tend to go over weirs i didn't want to go over it in this dinghy because it'd right. been a bad trip wasn't it obviously not as bad as them Soldiers at Cromwell were you? Remember that? I can remember that. Yeah. That was awful, wasn't Terrible. it? Terrible. Yeah. Twelve or thirteen when only one survived. Yeah. That was it dropped down Cromwell and said sheer drop. Yeah. Yeah, oh, was that was yeah. in the night, wasn't it? It was in the night, they were night manoeuvres. Yeah. And um they were the survivors would the survivor was taken to Newer Hospital. Yeah. And the, uh, one a reporter broke into the hospital and right. interviewed the soldier. 
and it was Trevor McDonald's first ever piece of journalism. Really? Oh. True story, that. Oh, that is yep. a piece of interest. Well, you didn't, you didn't end up on the news there, did you? No. Even though you were smacking... Animal magic. I was a kid of about 14, real mouth, a little shit. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this Stuart, he just whacked him around <laughs> just across the back of the shoulders. And well, were you in the dinghy floating down the river at the time? Or? No, we'd go out and we was going to have a rest on the bank side, but oh. with these two old boys there. Right, okay. So right. we well, let them know what we thought of them and carried on our way. All right. Uh, Paul also mentioned uh, another <laughs> very strange... He just put, does always mention strange things, does our Paul? Well, it's, mm. it's usually related to you, ironically. Oh, <laughs> um, this one... Uh, that means your uncle is your uncle then. Yeah. Uncle Paul, <laughs> Uncle Paul. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it was just bizarre. He just put tarmac destroying vomit. Yeah. <laughs> What's that about? That was <laughs> uh, when we was following Curve Dare on tour. Hmm. 1975, I think it was. We'd been all over the option, doing nearly every gig. And then we got down as far as Torquay, and they did the gig at, I think it was at Torquay Town Hall. Brilliant gig. Mm. Went back to where the band was staying at the hotel, but we couldn't go in the hotel yeah. on that occasion. So me and him slept in his old blue minivan. Right. Not very comfy, but you don't worry about that at the time. Of course, we had a few sherbets. And I'll take it that's code for them, something. Yeah, <laughs> ale. <laughs> got some ale, a few pints, several gallons probably. Right. And then in the night I woke up with incredible stomach acid. Yeah, with the old acid attack, bile. Nice. Back of the throat, gel. I thought, hmm, better reject this. So I opened the door. <laughs> what, you just get up and say, oh, better reject this. Well, did you get any warning like you used to in the boathouse, or was it just a... No, it is. Yeah, did you, did you, you wake up, up, did you wake up and, Paul and go, tell him. I'm just about to be sick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you realise, because the can hear me going... Like well, that. More like a cat trying to get a yeah, boathouse. <laughs> yeah, Yeah. Um, so I just opened the door, sort of slouched out, um, spewed up. stuff come out nice and the next morning we looked and there was all in the time <laughs> uh, literally else. burnt through the time <laughs> no, as true as I sit here there was all in the car in the time mate. <laughs> <laughs> the original yeah. pothole then yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bicidol have had no effect or gaviscon I used to have to eat dry bread in them days to soak it up Lovely. Hmm. Another interesting piece of useless oh, right. thing. Yeah. Obviously, that was uh, this week's first uh, viewers' corner. Yeah. <laughs> really fucking in for all. Well, uh, obviously, if pretty you... good start. Uh, yeah. yeah, great. Yeah. Good start. Yeah. If, if violence uh, by the river and vomiting in Turkey. Yeah. yeah. Why not? <laughs> Next week, yeah. Brazilian fart porn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're into that, aren't you? Yeah. I've watched it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. What the hell is They're that? They're just farting each other's mouths. I know, and they film it in close up. Why did you even watch it? I stumbled across it by something else. Say, yeah, like it's one of these six sites where there's like you know. <laughs> Car crashes, what not? What it's a Brazilian, Bra- Brazilian fart porn. I thought, I've got to have a look at this. Brazilian fart porn. porn. So they get, I don't know if they get off on it or not. Well, they'd obviously let off on it, but just women fighting each other's faces. Oh, it's women. Yeah. Fuck. Actually, it might have been lesbian Brazilian fart porn. I didn't see any men. No. That would have been a lot worse. Oh, it? it was foul. <laughs> and they were, it was foul. So they'd obviously give them something to eat a couple of hours before. Like, Tin of, tin of out of date fussels milk and some oh, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> they are get going. When, you, when you're ready, let me go. Yeah. And they just... <laughs> and they're breathing it in and all sorts. <laughs> oh, oh, 
intriguing. What the hell? I know. Uh, well, I've anyway, never watched it again. That may be. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, well, anyway, that was uh, this week's first viewers' corner. Yeah. Uh, if you want to write in, uh, all you have to do is uh, email us at this link, uh, goldencutproductions at gmail.com. <laughs> That's virtual. We add that in later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, write in and uh, with your own stories, see what uh, we can come up with. Right? Yeah, great. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, uh, we move on to another segment, uh, which we were talking about last night. Uh, a very strange encounter that I had. Oh, a strange encounter of the uh, illiterate type. <laughs> Yeah, in the return of uh, Freak of the Week. Freak of the Week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Freak of the Week. Back by popular demand. Yeah, well, back by demand, down to the amount of weirdos that I seem to come across. Um, <laughs> I was, uh, I was uh, just going down to the cinema, uh, as you do. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, wandering down. And I go through, you know, the car park, but you have to walk through. Uh, and some guy just came walking out of... Uh, you know, behind the library, there's yeah. that little back road yeah. that you can cut through. Um, Gildall Street. Yeah. And mm. he he came around and he was like in a trench coat. So he looked like a businessman. So he didn't look like particularly. The trench coat. He was in like a, a business. The brown a trench coat, coat thing. A long you know? coat, long, long yeah, mac. Bra- yeah. Yeah. Um, the fucking rowdy eight. <laughs> <laughs> he just looked like he a normal well kind of well office well. guy. He was in like a suit <laughs> yeah. and everything like that. Mm. And uh, he walked past me and he just went, "You're all right, mate." And he's just like, thump weirdly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he stopped. He didn't do it in passing. He was just like, like that. He was just like stood there, like <laughs> with his. I was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> like, just kept walking. And he goes, "Where are you from?" I just said Newark because I thought it's com- with the uh, level of mindset that he had I didn't think he'd probably understand where Cornwall was <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and, uh, and he, he went you're not from Newark you, you, you're, you're foreign you're from somewhere else and I said well, why did you say that and he goes because you didn't respond to me <laughs> how does this make me foreign you know just because I didn't, just because I didn't go. Oh, good evening, sir. How are you doing yeah, on this fine evening? <laughs> yeah, well, you wouldn't say that if you called them do it, would you? Well, no, but you know what I'm saying. Hey, what was that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, what does he want me to do? And what happened then? The mind boggles. Well, he was just, as I say, he was there going on. Yeah. Uh, I said, I said, obviously, I said, oh, I'm from Newark, and uh, he says, he says, no, you're not. You're, you're foreign. You're, you're from somewhere else. Uh, you didn't respond. You, know, you got quite like weirdly hostile yeah. just because I didn't say yeah, kick him in the something out. Oh, looks <laughs> very strange. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. Uh, and like, like he was walking away, kind of like grunting and pissed off to himself. He must have been like probably like twenty-seven or something. Like from just looking at him, he wouldn't yeah. look like somebody that was probably. Would you recognise him again if you saw him? Oh yeah. Oh great. Well, look out for the <laughs> <laughs> uh, and speak to him in French. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it just seemed like you, you know, uh, like you get the impression that he's one of them that just voted for Brexit purely because of like get the bloody immigrants out. Is a yeah, the country back. Yeah, Are you an immigrant. Yeah, get out. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> really Strange. odd. I know, but being accused of a foreigner—that's a first for me. Don't know why I'd be. Don't pissed. look foreign. No, or sound foreign. That's what I thought. Uh, like, do I sound like a foreign? No. <laughs> Just because you didn't respond, he assumed you were wasn't from this country. Yeah. Very narrow minded of him. I know, that's what I thought. Very narrow minded. This is what we're up against now. Oh, the idiots yeah. are winning. Mm. The idiots are winning. Oh, Big history. Yeah. You ever been accused of being a foreigner? Or just an old like that? I've been accused of being a human. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I had a problem with that. What well, that? Yeah. yeah. Are you from this planet? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. realm? From your fucking Uranus, yeah. Uh, argument with a Cornish person. Right. What happened there? We was... Well, you've been in lots of arguments, so that, that doesn't really narrow well, it Well, he started <laughs> uh, Just stood watching these Morris dancers. It was at Galau, a yeah. festival. Yes. There was a few Morris dancers. I just, I'd just i had a few beers and I said to this bloke, very English, innit? He goes, I'm not fucking English. 
I'm Cornish. I thought, oh, here this is normal. we go. Yeah. Because you bastard English, <laughs> piss off back over the Tamar. Oh, what? So he just kept going on and on. Uh, I'm Cornish through and through. We're sick of you English. We're sick of everything to do with England. We've got our own identity. So I just said, you're a twat. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you've got issues, pal. He you're says, a Cornish well, twat. <laughs> I said, well, he says, well, actually, he says, I'm Cornish, but my mum's Spanish. I thought, you. <laughs> but he was just saying, like, you're not English people because yeah. they're from over the table. Well, apparently, he's on your passport, it should be able to say Cornish, not British. He was not right. British, he's not English. He was adamant, he was. Cornish through and through, but his mother was Spanish. Well, he's not very through and through then. Well, I mean, <laughs> and I'm not, if I remember rightly, he also had an Arsenal football shirt on. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll rest my case. I said so much Welsh to him, I don't know a lot about it. I just went. Why did you say something Welsh to him? To wind a twat up, because then he realised I wasn't full on English. Yeah, but you're you are full on English. Well, yeah, but he didn't know that. <laughs> I just went. I just says, "I got pan to whiff where I was gwal What does that mean? Then? Uh, have a pint of beer, <laughs> <laughs> please. I thought that's gwal is Welsh for please. So, is your insult? We've just said, yeah. can I have a pint of beer." Yeah, well, I knew, <laughs> I knew the twat won't understand it. So I thought, well, there you go, mate. That's how you use a Celtic language. Let's use the oldest language in Europe because you got to remember it was also the language everybody in Britain spoke before Anglo-Saxons so I got one over him the bastard (laughs) well I remember when I'd had that weird encounter back at the cinema yeah uh, I texted you didn't I and I said just had like some real strange encounter yeah because as he was like mumbling walking away I uh, I just turned around like he was like like looking at me and looking really weird and I just said I didn't like swear at him or anything. I just like, oh, you're being freak of the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he was like, corner. what's that? And I was like, you'll find out. <laughs> and if you're tuning in now, <laughs> you fucking twat. <laughs> yeah, get alive, you fucking great <laughs> twat. No one wears long coats in Newark. Yeah. <laughs> no one wears coats. You've got to be yeah. foreign to wear yeah. You're soft if you wear a coat. <laughs> Dick. But, uh, but anyway, that's all well, I you message to that was uh what was it it was just did you tell I him, to you told him to fuck, fuck off, off. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you do if you were in that scenario somebody came up to you and said uh, just because you didn't immediately respond to some random comment called yeah. you a foreigner i'll just say you're talking out your fucking ass you silly twat do i sound foreign <laughs> And if I was foreign, what's your problem anyway? Uh, I, might be, the... I might be a leading doctor oh. in... That, that's just... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Getting into the realms of fantasy. <laughs> the getting doctor. into the realms of fantasy. <laughs> I, might be a, I might be an art surgeon or something like that. I mean, sometimes... I dread to think you as a art You surgeon. might look at me in one day... I know you shouldn't be judgmental, he's, but... He's a <laughs> Tell me they a fucking heart surgeon. Really? It looks like one. You, you don't appear like a heart surgeon. Or act like a heart surgeon. No. I wouldn't be like this if I was doing heart transplants. Well, I could just imagine you in a surgeon, like, oh my god, he's at critical level. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> wheel me into the operating theatre, I'll be up and off. <laughs> I'll wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say. Nurse, forceps, and all this lot, and while you're at it, chuck, give me a pint. Drinking a pint of beer while doing surgery. Yeah, last <laughs> bit is so much over. Sup, sup a bit of ale, breathe a few beer fumes over the twat. Nice. Oh, I'll keep him out under the influence. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so you just. Uh... I'd retort back, yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll. I can't tolerate things like that. So freak, about uh, ten years ago, we used to go to York quite a lot. Yeah. Because one of my really close mates moved back there, yeah. and we used to just go out, get leathered, you know, try and finger the lasses and whatnot. <laughs> and um, we went in this this strip strip club, uh, and uh, it was closed booth, you know, dances. Yeah. And I just started seeing this lass, and um, I felt a bit. I didn't want to. Didn't want to get involved, so I'm still at the bar getting absolutely plastered. My mm. mate, who remains nameless, um, 
Yeah. Must have spent about 200 quid, 20 quid a yeah, pop yeah. it was. So he just kept coming yeah. back and going, and the girl had come over and he'd disappear again. So I'm getting levered at the bar, and this bloke with one arm <clears throat> starts talking to me. And I'm thinking, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I said, Lawrence, we need to get this bloke's a bit fucking weird. What was he saying? Just odd things like, oh, these lasses, some of them have got boyfriends, some of them have got babies. What's he doing in there, then? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But he, he, wasn't, he was like me. He was just at the bar. I think it's because it was late night. It was somewhere to get a beer. Okay. I said to Lawrence, come on, we need to go. This bloke's getting a bit weird now. Said, right, I'm off, mate. Oh, come with you. Well, oh, well, yeah, Mr. One Arm starts coming with us. We get outside and we're walking through York. And there's, there was a mar- there's a market and it's a little bit like Newark Market. It was on the olden days. They used to leave the stalls out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> he gets his willy out and starts having a waz in the middle of the marketplace. And I says, leg it. So we ran and he chased us. Come what? back, you bastard! Still pissing. Get over, look round. There's this. Arm of his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like that. He's trying to do his trousers all his rubber around. Come back, you much dudes. And because we knew the ins and outs of the eyes, we were able to duck. Yeah. In and out, like double back on ourselves, all that. And you know, his voice getting fainter and fainter and fainter as we put a bit more distance in. But there you go. Didn't the you pursuit stop through York. Come back, you much dudes. <laughs> Pissing everywhere. Oh, yeah. That sounds interesting. Feel like that guy from. Uh... It's that film of Harrison Ford in it. <laughs> oh, one the one-armed arm arm man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was the one-armed man. Yeah. The one-armed man in Twin Peaks, of that, wasn't there? I think so. Yeah. It's been a long time since yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, the one-armed man, the pissing one-armed strip strip club man. <laughs> that, that's yeah. pretty odd. <laughs> and someone tried to sell me a ladder in York once as well. What, At two o'clock just... in the morning. He was walking on the ladder trying to sell it. Yeah? Yeah. That was what, did he, what, are you just walking around randomly? Just walking with a ladder. I got split up. <laughs> oh, shit, I've given his name away now. Yeah, but you don't give his yeah. first name. Yeah. We can right? cut that. Yeah. <laughs> I, sp- I got split up for whatever reason. I think I tried to tap this bird and then she told, went to this nightclub with her and there was a, a boyfriend and her mates were in there. Mm. So I was like, shit, I'm gay. I've just moved to York and I'm gay. I don't know anyone. So they started talking to her. I was slipped out. I went back to Lawrence's house. Couldn't. Couldn't find him, so I was just walking around trying to find a, a bed and breakfast on a bank holiday weekend in York. No chance. Turns a corner, there's a bloke stood in the road with a ladder. <laughs> Gonna buy this ladder off me, mate. <laughs> it's a bit useful to get in a Could, yeah. second story yeah. B&B without paying. Potentially, yeah. Up again I'd, have, I'd have still got a free bed for the night. I'd have got arrested, wouldn't I, for doing that? True. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nearly bought a ladder at two o'clock in the morning in York. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Mm. different. Yeah. Right. Uh, there's there's a man in Sheffield uh, who was. It's in quite the... a few men in Sheffield. Apparently, it's quite a large place. Yes. Um. He was in Sheffield uh, outside of uh, Wilco's. Right. Uh, and uh, about two a.m. And apparently he broke... Looking for a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> praying for somebody to turn up with a ladder. Yeah. To York, mate. We know there's somebody that's got one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, uh, he apparently broke into World Cares. And uh, he... He didn't, like, nick anything, which was really odd. Uh, he went in and uh, went and found a pair of bolt cutters in World Cares. Right. Right. And... Uh, Apparently, he uh, sat down in the middle of an aisle in Wilco's with these bolt cutters, got that packaging, and uh, he took his shoe off. Right. Took his shoe in his sock on. He cut his own toe off. Oh, that's good. In the middle of Wilco's. Right, and it gets weirder. Go on. He then apparently proceeded to eat his own toe. Yeah. He apparently ate his own toe and worked. He was hungry. He didn't steal anything. He didn't do anything. So he just broke ate, in the shop. He broke into Wilco's. Scrunded. <laughs> Does it say which toe? Uh, but if he was hungry, it'd be his big one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, big one, <laughs> yeah he, got, he got arrested, obviously, for breaking in and stuff. Yeah. Well, did, but, wasn't he in agony from cutting his toe? He was in Wilco's. Jesus. <laughs> 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 well, he... Yeah. Apparently, yeah, apparently he uh, he just broke in. Uh, he didn't have, he didn't nick anything. He just unpackaged his pair of bolt cutters and let his own toe. 
Yeah. And he got arrested for just breaking in. He didn't get arrested for self harming it. No, he yeah. just self cannibalism. Was there much yeah. blood? Well, I presume so. If you cut your own toe clean it to oil fall. I don't know <laughs> just slip on the blood in one. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, what yeah. that was like when it came out the next day. It makes you wonder. Nail sticking out. Yeah, there. especially when it was a manky toenail. Yeah. <laughs> a big <laughs> yellow toenail. Yeah, a great big fungal. Yeah. <laughs> and it got a verruca. <laughs> oh, and a corn and a bundle. <laughs> Anything on else? One toe. What else could you get, man? We athlete foot. Oh. <laughs> He'd have an itchy throat, wouldn't he? Itchy arse like, and all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Slide that down. But, yeah, yeah, apparently uh, in the morning, because he'd stayed there all night. For some reason, and surprisingly, he didn't bleed to death or something. So it must have been like a small toe or something. Nah, it must have been his big toe. Go know. on. Anyway. But uh, some what, so he the, stayed there all night. Apparently, stayed there all night. Strange bedtime snack, isn't it? Yeah. So they've got food in Wilco's, haven't they? They've got a packet of crisps. No, I know. Why? Did he wash it down? We hope, like a <laughs> part of his own piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But one of the staff members, who obviously comes and opens up in the morning. Yeah. Uh, Turned up, thought this is odd because I put all the room. Oh, and, put uh, kettle on, put kettle on. Oh, you've already eaten, yeah. Went in and found this guy in like with a bit of blood on the floor, just laid there with his tennis and a pair of ball cards. Oof. And so that in the morning, didn't it? Like, turned up, you think, oh Christ, Monday morning. Did to find get out up. why he'd done it? They they have no <laughs> idea why he went in and chopped his own tail off. It's been a Mentally, he's got, yeah, he's got to have some kind of yeah, well, crazy shit, but that's uh, just so weird. I just thought that story was so odd, yeah. But I just prefer it. Right, then, <laughs> your gun to your head, you've got to chop one of your something off and eat it. What would it be? Yeah, you've got to chop something off and eat it. If something's got to go, like you're otherwise, middle, it's yeah, you're in the middle oh, of one of my fingers because I've got ten of the bastards. What you just which one though? The one that I use least. And that is? Yeah, you've got a ponder. Little finger. You lose a, that's, the, that's what I'd do. Little yeah, finger. little finger. That's yeah. gone. Because I can yeah. still play Xbox then. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't go with the toe because you don't really use them. I heard no, a story. Not yeah, no, you do. Cake. Two toes are used for balance because somebody we know from Newark, uh, a cousin was in some country... Brazil, in Brazil, it Brazil. popped up again. She was shooting a film, <laughs> and they bring this brand new hotel. Uh. And she went into the bathroom on the on the first day, and was just run the tap, just leaning on the sink. Mm. And they weren't passing it to the wall properly. And the sink, and it was a, like a posh sink, not like a big thingy one. It was a thin, yeah. and, it, and it landed, and it took a big toe off. Right? Really? Yeah, took oh, a big nice. toe off. And um, did once, she eat it? No, she didn't eat it. She'd already been to the buffet. Ah. <laughs> uh, and then nice. when they'd been sort of, you know, they'd not healed it or, you know, she had to learn to walk differently. Because you, if you walk, you put pressure on your big toe more than any of your others. Yeah, but once if, like, you took, like, a, I don't know, like, a, a small little one. Yeah, one, one of the middle toe. ones. That's on the yeah. like, Probably that not that one. Be, that yeah, yeah, that still, toe. What happened to them? Shimo stood on his foot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He used to, my like granddad used to work with shy horses in the old days. Right. And apparently he, he came home from work one day. This shy horse had stood on his foot. And when he took his boot off, one of his toes come out. What? Awesome. So, he, so he'd carried on. Yeah. That is a tough Just that, that rattling in my boot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, literally his toe had come off. Nice. And the shy horse stood on it. Lovely. Didn't uh, a series of events happen to you? Granddaddy was tough as boots. Yeah, but like, I've I've never heard of a series of events to happen to one single person. Uh, that, yeah. that obviously wasn't the only thing which happened no, to him. No, he lost his eye <laughs> in a hedging accident. Right. <laughs> what happened to him? He died. He, he died in a bizarre gardening accident some years back. It's so really one of those one. things It was... You know, the authorities said, you know, best leave it you know, not unsolved, about, yeah. really. You know. <laughs> How thorn, did that happen? A thorn, a thorn <laughs> went, as, as my mate Phil said the other day, was it, I said there was a black thorn went in his eye. What was it, a pint or a half? Or yeah. But this thorn <laughs> pierced my granddad's eye and he took his eye at the I was going to say, took carried on well, working. That's another one. <laughs> he, he operated on him, but they took his eye out without an anaesthetic. Wow. 
Wow. So obviously that was back in the day before. I yeah. Say. Then he had an accident when he finished farming. <laughs> so this he went into two events factory. alone yeah. isn't enough. He went to a local factory, got a job there, and he came home one day and his feet were all black. His boots had been leaked. Had leaked. Well, he had a hole in his boots. There's a yeah. hole in his boots or something, but some oil or some substance had absorbed into his boots and poisoned his feet. Wouldn't they have to, like, amputate nope. at that point? didn't amputate. So he just kept going around with black feet? Well, he had bloody hospital treatment. Yeah. But he didn't moan. <laughs> a one-eyed, yeah. toeless man. Yeah. Just kept going. Uh, what else has he done? When he was in his 70s, he had double pneumonia and pleurisy and fell downstairs. You've got to be the most unluckiest man. You were unlucky, but he was tough as fuck. Real tough dude. Yeah, Yeah, not like the wimps of today. (laughs) Oh, I'll just have to go to a local walking centre. I've got a headache. Oh, fuck off. Go meet my granddad and tough old (laughs) bastards. Sure, you can't still be alive. There'd be nothing left. He's still going now. It's like a blob on the table. (laughs) My granddad. I don't know how old he'd be, bless him. It'd be at least... I don't know. Let me think. Mm-mm. Probably nearly 120. But uh, <laughs> and here he is now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I idolised him. He was yeah. brilliant. That's crazy. Brilliant. To have all of those incidents happen to one mm. guy, it's ridiculous. Speaking of losing limbs and such, uh, oh, I know what this yeah, is leading uh, to. Yeah, you were you had a hip operation, haven't you? A failed. Yeah. You were talk. saying that you Hit wanted me. to talk about this. I didn't want to so, talk. Yeah. I didn't mean, ask for a topic. So I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking it, replacement. You were a heart doctor a minute ago. You could have done it yourself. Oh, I ought to have done it. I made a great job on it. Dig your granddad up and use this. I'd have made, <laughs> made a better job on it. Dick it. Fucking useless, the cunt. Yeah. What happened? Obviously, you've got like a really. You, before they put it on wrong way round. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. One step forward, two back. Yeah. yeah. Make fucking wacko Jack, Jacko's fucking moonwalk look like. Well, I don't know. Summer. Spends his day walking around in circles. Yeah. yeah. Like swimming in a circle. Yeah. yeah. I imagine them to put you one shoe one facing forward and one shoe yeah. one facing backwards. Yeah. Ryan, come and do the shoe shot. Yeah. You wake up after the app. Yeah. Getting your feet measured yeah. in Clarks on that yeah. little machine. Yeah. Having to turn around and sit backwards. Yeah. Kneecap facing that. <laughs> Inwards. Yeah. yeah. It was just a carve up from the word go. Well, obviously you had like a really bad hip at that point, didn't you? Oh, they're totally gone. Hmm. But the thing is now, I've had it replaced, but people still say, oh, when are you getting the hip done? Because mm. this is the thing, like, now you walk around like John Wayne, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> John Wayne who shat himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's great when you have, like, a bag of change in his... In his uh, I can hear him coming. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like like something from Western. Oh, me. <laughs> you know, Jang- on the back. Like prison yeah. warder with a big bunch of keys hanging up. That's me. <laughs> yeah. But no. Now it all up yeah. for it to be done. <clears throat> Couldn't wait for it to be done. I wasn't bothered. Yeah. The Didn't you say uh, the they, the back. they asked you what the what you wanted to do with the uh, the old one? Yeah. The old <laughs> one. Yeah. I asked <laughs> if I could keep it. Right. Yeah. There was at one point, didn't you say you wanted to throw it to the walls? Yeah. <laughs> Just go in the operating theatre, rip it out, and throw it to the walls. <laughs> Let them fight over it. I think they'd run away. Yeah. <laughs> they want <laughs> really <one> snip. Just off into the distance. The wolves yelping like <laughs> wimps. Yeah. No, I'd just like to have seen that. Nice. Well, it'd have been like something out of the Viking. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, you had this off, and you what? You found that your legs were like what? One was like two inches. Short. Yeah, they've left me with one leg shorter than the other. <laughs> As I say, Smart. walking around inside. Yeah. And when I went to see about it, just get the other one done and we haven't get them straight up. I said, oh, you get that I ain't going back for another one. He said, oh, you're limping. I said, I know. He said, why? I said, because one leg's shorter than the other. Oh, how's that happen? I said, well, you did the fucking operation, you twat. (laughs) Just get a a shoe with a bigger heel or sole. 
That's what I thought. You'd be, like, yeah. like Herman Monster yeah. shoes. Yeah. Like, yeah. like Elton John. Like one of Elton John's shoes from Pinball Wizard. Mm. Is that a bit big? <laughs> Too big. Too big, yeah. I'll get it sorted. <clears throat> nice thick wedgie. The worst bit, though, was the catheter. Ooh, catheter. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, cat- yeah, bastard. Right, go on. I said, I don't want one of them. He said, well, I'm afraid you're going to have to. You have to make sure you... <laughs> work it. Oh, bastard. So, anyway, by now, it's numb. Because they give you a epidural. Well, they inject you first. Injected me in the back. So All right, then they don't inject you in the knob, then. No, uh, uh, that one bad. So, <laughs> a lot worse than that. Got this like belt. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's that? So, oh, this callus is. We need to put that in. I said, ooh, that's it moving down. Uh, anyway, this doctor is sort of bent down, and <clears throat> you don't feel a thing, but you still get the visualization of it. Oh, makes me feel sick. I want to be ill here. This is tense. <laughs> but anyway, after the art, you wake up like, yeah, 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 everything's fine. Then mm. you can sort of start to get the feeling back and you look down and there's this thing in your todge nice oh right mm. <laughs> fucking japs are it was oh you bastard so you couldn't deal so with it so I said to the nurse I said I can stand out but I ain't out <clears> in my eye nice. can't stand anything in my eye so, yeah, so she went <laughs> no worry on. she went no <laughs> worry yeah. we don't need nurses for that I know how to do it but don't you have to <laughs> for another day as oh as well. jesus christ woman so you got this long thing in your todge connected right. to obviously the bag with a piss yeah. and i say oh, can you not just take it out just please take it out no no we've got to make sure that you're passing water fast as i am it's filling <laughs> it up look anyway following day he says yeah we can take it out now that's a great so he says it'll feel like a stinging nettle Right. Right. On your knob. No. That, like your knob's been dunked <coughs> in a bunch of nettles. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. Like, yeah. Multiple. So says, right, I'll be as quick as I can. Eh? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> pulls this thing out. Eh? Oh, you bastard. And it was. It just like being stung with a nettle. Having barbed wire pulled out your knob. Oh, end. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's Stu. That makes me feel sick. <laughs> well, I want too chuff, Miss yeah. Howard. Dead chuff when it come out. You were saying uh, before you had that incident on the mopeds once, didn't you? you? You've had a few accidents yourself. Yeah. Didn't you? Uh, when you when you in a trench coat at that period? Oh, yeah. Well, everybody wore a trench coat in the early 70s. Right. And you were on a moped? On a moped. Crash hat. Trench coat and a crash hat. <laughs> what you need to do now and is plim- you need to Google the Hair Bear Bunch cartoon plimsels. and insert. And I had plimsolls on. <laughs> I had plimsolls and trench coats. No on, trainers, right? pal. No, none of these fancy ass trainers like you spend bloody hundreds of pounds on nowadays. We used to write the names of your favourite bands on our plimsolls. <laughs> Get marker, I assume marker. you like yes then. Just yeah. <laughs> marker pens. Just rub it in in crayon. Yeah. yeah. Marker yeah. pens and make psychedelic patterns on it. But when I that's a new one on me. Yeah. 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 Satchels and rucksacks and stuff. Yeah. We used yeah. to do that, but never on our shoes. Yeah. Plimmies. We did. I was at college. They Dunlops. The time. Them Dunlop slip-ons. Don't know. The just elasticated pair, Ubisoft. Just a pair of plimsolls from <clears throat> Wakefields. Right. No. Who were now millets. Yeah. Mm. So we, no, I was going to the sports centre, believe it or not. Right. And I went round the corner and I leant ever too far. This was a tight corner then, was it? Or just a normal corner? Tight point? enough. Yeah. And I leant too far and these mopeds, they had like <clears> the, <throat> the um, footrests or whatever you The stand, it. didn't they? Yeah. And it caught the road as I went round so I slid across the road on my chin nice. that rock stole the skin off it ripped skin off my arms and that lovely but it crunched and I realised then when I got up a bit dazed I broke my two front teeth off oh geez. literally bit the dust Right, American indeed. History X style. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and you were... Grit and gravel in my bloody trench coat. I was more yeah. upset with trench coat getting did, damaged. What did you dad say when you got back home? Oh, well, that was a previous incident. Was it? When I came so, off, so this is... Came off twice. Yeah, right. What happened the first time? Uh, there was mud on the road, tiger feet. Tiger feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was mud on the road, 
And I went around another tightish corner. I was taking my time. I thought, nope. You could feel the bike going. So I went over, slid along the road. <laughs> You're probably going, oh, I'll just relax. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, actually, on that occasion, I did relax. Yeah. <laughs> I learned at a young age to relax. relax. Yeah. <laughs> just but, kind of free fall, <laughs> <laughs> relax. It was smothered in mud. The bike was all cacked up with mud. Oh, oh shit. Took it over. Obviously, this wasn't your moped. Yeah, right? I borrowed my dad's. Right. Ooh. And I got home like, and I called him, what the bloody hell are you done? I said, I spent two hours cleaning that bike before you went out on it. <laughs> there weren't no, oh, well, you're all right. <laughs> you were more concerned with mine. Right. And I was more concerned with my coat. And what, what did your mum say? Because obviously, like, your dad's pissed off. No, she had to go at my dad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I say, get back to the teeth thing. I yeah. broke my two front teeth off. Uh, it exposed the nerves. Ooh, oh, another one. Yeah. yeah. So I had to you go breathing in that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just yeah, have yeah, a nice I, bowl of ice yeah. cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, had, I had a glass of water. Oh dear, that, that was a bit, ooh, a bit raw. It was. That is Jesus. painful. So I had to go and get dental treatment then, and they had to remove the nerves out of my teeth. Oh. They drilled in. Was this it. with anaesthetic? Yeah, oh. I think, but I still felt it because it was drilling, and you could feel it going up, and it felt like it was going up your nose. Mm. And he said, I've got to drill it, drill it, drill it. He said, I need to get that nerve out. But he got the nerve out with tweezers and he showed me it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Got stopped for speeding on my push bike. On a push bike? Yeah, coming down London Road. was being chased, me and my, my mate. <coughs> we were being chased with this other gang. So we by could, a gang? By Why a is gang it not the bike. Godfather? Yeah. <laughs> really? All the gang is on bikes. <laughs> <laughs> we were pedalling like fuck going down London I, we, I was overtaking cars <laughs> this copper pulled us in <laughs> some guy in his car you just see yeah just went, <laughs> fucking pedalling like fuck I was yeah. and uh, this copper stopped us whoa lads you're going way too fast you got to slow down well, I've got manky brakes on my car on my car on my bike <laughs> It, with the old brakes where you literally got wires. Yeah, yeah. And the wire would come out of the handle that you squeeze. Mm. So I had it wrapped around the handle bar. So when I wanted to stop, I just <laughs> put it like Oh, my out. God. <laughs> you just pull it out like, better not let the copper see that. So I just covered it with my hand. Right. But, yeah, he just said, you're going way too fast. Because we'd only be about 14. Yeah. Cars went very quick in them days. I was going to say, they can't, didn't they? Yeah. It just overtakes a few gay people. It was a funeral possession, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs>